All right, here's the project we're going to do today, and I'm uh, going to call this piece the Stormy Coast. We're going to use these two stamps from the Nature Set 13. We're going to use this stamp from the Nature Sheet 12. Okay, we're going to use this stamp, which is number 323C, Rocks and Grass Large. This stamp, which is from the Nature Sheet 8, it's the Stormy Clouds. This stamp, which is number 020E, Cloud with Lightning. Okay, and uh, now we will begin. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp in the water, and uh, I'm going to use Memento Ink London Fog for that, and I am going to avoid the rocks here. I don't want to ink those up with the London Fog. And then I'm also going to avoid inking up this upper portion right here, because that's where the shoreline is going to go. And then I'll use Desert Sand, Memento Desert Sand, for the rocks. Add just a little bit more texture to it. I'm also going to add some Memento Rich Cocoa to the rocks. Okay, next I'm going to ink up the uh, shoreline stamp that I'm going to use. Once again, I'm going to use the Memento London Fog for this. Is the line that is coming up here from the shoreline, I want to line up with the, sh the uh, horizon line on the water. And Okay, next I'm going to ink up the cloud with the lightning, and I want to use my positioner again with this because I want to get the lightning just hitting at the horizon. So I'll ink it up first. And I'm going to use London Fog again, and I'm going to have all the clouds facing upwards, so all the little humps in the clouds are going to be facing towards the top. Okay, and then for the shore down here along the bottom, I'm going to use some Memento Desert Sand ink, and I will just ink up... Okay, it's been a few minutes, so now I'm going to ink up the sky and the water with Distress Ink. I'm going to use Weathered Wood, Iced Spruce, and Stormy Sky. Okay, I'm going to use my Tim Holtz Distress Blending Brush, and this is the color that I got for Distress Ink in the blue color. So I'm going to start with my lightest color, and I'm just getting ink on the brush, and then I'm just going to start brushing on. And I'm going to avoid the lightning area here because I don't want to color it over. Okay, next I'm going to take one of my alcohol markers. This is one of my blue-gray alcohol markers, and it's a Bianyo brand, and I am using uh, number BG5. I'm going to start using some of my alcohol markers to color in the trees. I'm going to start with my Bianyo number 51, which is And the next color I'm going to use is the number 
Next, I'm going to take some 23. And I'm going to use number 101. Thirty-three. Okay, now I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to put it on a cotton swab and I'm going to come down here and just kind of rub this down just to get some of this off. give that a little bit of a chance to dry. Okay, this is so much of a mess, I'm going to see if I can save it. I've completely lost all my detail in the tree area. So I'm going to try and stamp it with just my Memento Black Tocito Black over the top. Do the same thing with the grass underneath. I'm going to restamp that also and get some of the detail of that back. This is just basically to try and get some of the detail back into these stamps. And so I will add a little bit of orange into this just a little bit. I don't want too much. I'm going to take some of the 101 and I'm going to color in the dark part of these rocks. Take my BG5 again and darken up this water again. I'm just doing, you know, just one way. I'm not going up and down. Okay, I'm going to take my Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink. And I'm going to take a Fantastics, which I used a pointed end one. You can also buy them in a little flat bullet tipped one, but I took one of the pointed ends and I just cut the tip off to give it kind of a flat top. And I am just going to touch this to the Unicorn White Pigment Ink. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get some of the detail back on these rocks. So I'm going to use some of my uh, Marvie La Plume 2. This is the number 45 sepia. And I'm just going to use the fine tip. Okay, now I'm going to use a WG, a warm gray, 0.5. Okay, next I will use my uh, Signo Uniball UM153. Okay, I'm going to use some alcohol markers, BG1 and BG3, blue grays. I'm just going to try and darken up the sky just a teeny tiny bit.
and I'll take my blue gray marker. This is the BG5. All right, I'm going to be rather daring here and I'm going to attempt to stamp some black over the water in the rock region too because it looks like I've kind of botched this area up so I want to try and uh, stamp over that if I can. Okay, I'm going to come back in here and uh, take my thickest white gel pen. Okay, and now I want to stamp something in the corner here. And since I've got quite a bit of pigment ink, on this, I want to stamp it in my stamp positioner. Okay, now I'm going to take my Memento Tuxedo Black marker. Okay, I'm going to add a little color to the edges by using BG3 alcohol marker. And then I'm going to take an alcohol swab. 